how many of you agree that globally branded products, when compared with store branded products, are a little bit much nicer and probably the superiors, it's a bit more superior? I don't know, do we agree? Well, I think so. Well, having said that, you do occasionally stumble on a store brand product. That's not bad. And when you consider you're being asked to pay far less, you think it's okay, I'll take it. So I stumbled on a product from Asda, and I liked it, and I enjoyed it. I had this product for a very long time. I used it for a fairly long time. Only to find on one occasion, I get to the shops, and I look on the shelf, and it's not there. Uh oh And I see the sign, sorry, temporarily out of stock. I didn't like it, but I thought, well, there are many more Asdas, so I checked all the other Asdas, and it's the same sign. Well, I've still got some at home. I'll keep using that and see what happens. But by the time I'm on the last product, I'm thinking it's not yet back on the shelves. So I have this brainwave. I'm thinking, wow, let's see what the other stores have. They must have similar products, you know. They're all the same. So I've done what most women are guilty of doing. A lot of people say we spend time at the shops. We're price checking. We're comparing prices. We're even comparing size, weight, volume, color. We're comparing shop space and all the rest. I thought, well, I'll do what women do. So I've gone around all the shops to see if I can find the similar item. And I've checked Sainsbury's, I've checked Tesco's, I've checked Morrison's, and I found the product I like, Sainsbury's. It was a little bit more expensive, but I thought, well, it's still quite cheap and cheerful. So I'm using the Sainsbury's product. And I've gone back to Asda on one occasion to see what's happening there. Ah, the product is back, but guess what? It's more expensive. It's gone up eight times what I bought it the last time. I thought, no, I'll stick with Sainsbury's. So I stopped with Sainsbury's, and I'm enjoying the Sainsbury's brand, only to get there on another occasion. It's like I'm watching Family Fortunes. Not there. My product's not there. Ah. I'm thinking, what am I going to do? Then I think, well, you did it before. Choose another store. So I chose Tesco's. They have something similar. Whilst using the Tesco uh, brand, I've gone back to Sainsbury's on another occasion. The item's back. You guessed right. It's gone up in price. Four times more. Ah, so I'm on my Tesco leg now. <laughs> I'm using the Tesco brand, I'm enjoying it. Maybe the quality is not just as good because it, it doesn't last as long as the Sainsbury's one, but I'm thinking, well, it's still okay. And then on one occasion, I've gone to the shops again. This isn't rocket science, not there. Tesco's have done it again. Ah, now I'm enlightened. I understood what that was. It's called rebranding. They bring out the same product, they give it a different packaging, they bump up the price. So I'm thinking Tesco's, they've joined in and they're doing the same thing. How do I beat Tesco's? I sat down and I'm thinking, I need a brainwave, I need a brainwave. I've never shopped online with supermarkets. So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe I should go online. At least one store somewhere might have it. And maybe they can sort of bring it to my local store. So I've gone online. And I'm actually at my laptop. I'm excited. And they have the product. I'm thinking, wow. But this time, I'm going to beat them to it. 
I'm going to buy a large quantity that will last and last and last till whenever. So that if they bump up the price, at least I've got a backlog of, you know, a lot of products at home. I won't tell you how many I ordered because <laughs> you're going to think I'm a hoarder. <laughs> Plus, I thought I'll be paying delivery charge. So I'm thinking, make the best of this. Order large quantities. So I did. My order went through, I paid, and come the next day, I was going to take delivery, I was excited, and lo and behold, I had a pleasant surprise. I'm still smiling and enjoying. What had happened is, they had only five items for me, but rather than give me a blank feedback and just deliver five items, they delivered the same quantity, but they made up with the global brand. Yes, and I got a lot to last me for the rest of the year. I was so pleased with myself. And to add to it, not only do I get the bulk I ordered, <coughs> what they said is, I don't even have to pay the difference. And guess what? The global brand was 10 times more expensive. And when I think about the quantity I bought, I made a kill. I was happy with myself. And it doesn't end there. They said to me, if I'm not happy, they will compensate me. Apparently, it's called matching up your order. So they've matched up my order. They've given me more for less. So who says it doesn't pay to persevere? Mm. The moral of the story, keep going. You will always get more for less. Very good.